Rolling. All right. Uh, good morning. Appreciate everybody being here today. Uh, coming off uh, Saturday, much like I said in, in post game, uh, you know, disappointing outcome, uh, disappointing performance. You know, really all three phases. You know, had uh, you know, elements, uh, uh, you know, just uh, you know, opportunities, but uh, you know, obviously not not. Uh, not the results necessary uh, to to be able to achieve success. And uh, you know, uh, Carolina did a good job in in their game plan and their you know, execution, uh, and you know, you know won the game. Uh, you know, in in really all three phases uh, for what we what we needed, what we uh, uh, you know, set out to accomplish, and uh, you know, just did not uh, not play or, or coach well enough uh, in that game uh, to be victorious. And so. Uh, you know, obviously, with with that, you you continue to you know evaluate, learn, you know, work to grow. I mean, there's uh, we still have you know three games left in the season, and you have opportunity to go and get better. And that's that is my sole purpose, my sole focus is for everything that we have for these players that uh, that, that I get to coach. You know, to go pour everything I have into them uh, to make sure that we are taking the positive, you know, positive strides and, and uh, you know, steps to improve it. And you know, each individual has ownership of, of action. Each individual uh, you know, has to make the choice of, of you know, the, the investment of what's, what's uh, being poured in. And then obviously the, uh, uh, the application of the, you know, whether it's the things we're asking guys to do in practice or whether it's application of, uh, of schemes, of the, the application of the things that are necessary for us to go play Complimentary football to 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 achieve victory, and uh, you know it's you know we've we've not done that you know uh, throughout the course of this season, and um, you know we've had plenty of circumstances that have showed up. You know uh, the, that was eight different starting offense uh, you know, offensive line uh, you know lineup that we've had in nine games. You know we had you know, two two more starters that were out, uh, which definitely you know, had a, had an effect, but uh, you know it's. Ultimately, opportunities for for other guys, young guys, you know, uh, to get uh, to get their chance to, to show, you know, and uh, to be able to go out there and, and compete to, you know, put their best on display. And you know, we just have not been consistent enough, you know, across the board, you know, uh, on, on really you know, either side of the ball for what is for what is expected and what we need to be. And so, you know, all of our all of our focus and, and work goes into. Uh, to, to today, and uh, you know, obviously, you know, obviously you know, we came back. We practiced yesterday. We uh, we went to work. You know, jumping into this week, we had to, you know, go on the road. Uh, you know, get another really good opponent, and uh, you know, we're gonna go put everything that we have into putting ourselves in the best position to achieve success this week. And that's that is our focus as a team, and uh, you know, focus of every every individual part of the program. All right, first question will be Iris on your right. Uh, it seemed like in some of these games, particularly the Miami game, it felt like the defense kind of gave you guys a chance to try to figure things out on offense. Uh, this week, it seemed like both sides of the ball kind of faltered. Um, do you think that the offensive struggles are now taking a toll on how the defense is playing? Uh, I mean, no. I mean, everybody, you know, each side, each side of the ball is, is independent. So we've not played good complementary football, um, you know, throughout the course of the year. And you go back and you look at it. Uh, you know, our success after offensive scoring drives has been really, really poor. I mean, we, we haven't gotten, you know, three and outs. We haven't, you know, we've given, given up scoring drives, you know, as a result after an offensive score, which, you know, obviously you need to be able to, in those moments, you know, try to build upon the momentum. You know, after a team scores, we have not responded well, you know, offensively like, like we need to. And so, you know, when you look at it, you know, we just haven't been able to, to build upon you know the, the momentum on either side when we've had opportunities uh, to make plays I and mean, there was three different times you know, I thought we had a, a chance to, uh, uh, to intercept a pass on on uh, on Saturday and there was multiple multiple times where you know on third downs that we you know had a chance to be able to get off the field and we did not we did not uh, you know make the play or execute there in the moment uh, for, for in critical situations for what was what was necessary and. I don't think that uh, you know, one side of the ball has something to do with the other. Um, you know, because ultimately it's just you got to go out there and you got to play the game. And uh, you know, each of everybody's performance is is, is theirs, and you got to own it. And uh, you know, there were some there were some you know, good moments for individuals. There were some you know, some some positive things that you can draw from it uh, you know, throughout the throughout the contest. But then there were some things that that uh, you 
are unacceptable and you know that, that we have to be better at and you know just you know you have to take ownership of what you know what the action was whether it was a uh, a play call whether it was a uh, you know a, a, something that you did as a player you know on the field that uh, you know was you know not to the best of your ability and you know sometimes as a technique a fundamental you know an opportunity to make a play to, to finish in the moment and you know that's what we all have to own and we have to uh, you know, go and grow and be better and that's that's the that's the focus all right next to be Brittany in front row Ayla. Another young player that you, you played this season I guess how important is it going to be for, for the future of the program to one to continue to get solid constructive reps with them and then people be able to retain them and, and keep building with them for, for the future. Yeah, I mean for, for us it's you know every every play, every day, every practice, you know, is critical for, for each player on our team. But I mean especially those young guys that are uh, you know getting opportunities, you know, you know, in game, uh, you know, it's just you gotta be able to build upon it. And you know, I think these guys have done a nice job in, in their approach and how they've come to practice, uh, you know, how they've come to work in, in trying to you know, understand the the areas that you know maybe you know they need a bigger emphasis in in their growth and some of it's just gonna be physical mental you know just to pick and continuing to uh, you know, adjust the speed of, of what you see on a, on, a, on a Saturday uh, but you know I am excited about that young group and you look at you know, really the last two classes you know those guys that are either you know, you know freshmen redshirt freshmen or, or the true sophomores I mean that those the, we got a lot of really good football players in that group, and those are going to be guys that I, I absolutely believe that I spoke on Saturday. Uh, they're going to be a part of you know our, you know, our response as a program uh, for you know, what we're going to do and what we're going to be able to accomplish. And you know everybody's at a different place in their journey, and you know some of those guys are, are playing a, a lot. Some of those guys you know have, have yet to play, but uh, you know really excited about uh, you know those two groups of, of what we were able to uh, you know. Put together in those in those classes, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, just you know, it, the it's critical for their you know continued development uh, that they just you know, every day stay focused on what they can control and, and you know make maximizing the opportunities that they do get. All right, stay there for Chris. From a purely physical standpoint, is Saturday up to the standard you want in the Notre Dame? How much of a challenge is that? Because obviously they played great hard. No, I mean there was there there were times in the game where you know I I did not like the. Uh, the physicality that we put on display and uh, you know I think there was uh, there were some good moments there were times that you know uh, you know we were playing very physical but you know had a you know maybe a lapse in, in judgment of you know what you know you know whether there was a gap to fit or you know where you know maybe trying to do too much that opened up a uh, you know a seam or a, an opportunity for our, for our opponent uh, but there were definitely plays that going back and you know, seeing them on Saturday uh, that I was you know, displeased with, and then you know, obviously going back and watching it on film, uh, you know, it's, it's you know, that's where we we are in control of that, and you know, and for each player, and you know, I told told the team yesterday, I mean, we're, there is an expectation of, of how what it needs to look like, and uh, making sure that you put everything that you have you know, into uh, you know, each play, even if it is after a negative. You know, you there's going to be times you might. Uh, you might get beat on a play. You might have something that you, know, you didn't desire, you didn't want, uh, you know, happen to you. But you know, Lord willing, you get one more play. What's it going to look like, and how are you going to respond in that situation? And you know, there is. I know we talked a little bit after the game about just the confidence of uh, you know some of our players, and you know, really in some aspects, just our team. And you know, uh, it's it's been it's been a challenging year. You know, in a lot of ways when it comes to that. And you know, these guys, you know, they deal deal with a lot of different things you know, externally internally uh, you know within their own, their own mind of what they want it to look like and uh, the times when it doesn't you know that's where you got to stay true to who you are you got to stay true to what you believe uh, you know and just put everything that you have and you're just going to control the next thing that you can and that's and that's the next round that's the next the next play the you know the next practice you know the day that's that, that you have putting everything you, everything in and just going to get better and you know I do think there's been times where uh, you know, that's been shaking a little bit and you know, just to say pullback hesitation. Um, you know, and it's the, you know that's 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 shown. I think that that hesitation has shown up in not wanting to, you know, not wanting to have the the, the negative, or not wanting to to, to uh, you, know, you know have that you know, experience. And that's uh, you know, that's where you get to kind of you know, just move past that. And uh, you know, nobody's in a place where we want to be right now. 
but you get an opportunity to go play this game, get an opportunity to go compete, get an opportunity to go and get better. And that's what that's what I uh, you know, obviously am demanding and expecting to see in, in all things that we're doing. We'll go to Jordan on the third row. Coach, a two-part question. You only had eight completions against UNC over the 11 against Miami Heat before. Are there ways that you guys can scheme off these easier completions to get the pass game going? And then along with that, are you still confident in running this two-quarterback system throughout the rest of the season? Uh, you know, uh, obviously that's you know, the, the our completions, um, you know, being able to have some, some balance in what we're doing and, you know, being able to, uh, uh, you know, get the passing game going. I mean, there's a lot of different elements that have, that have showed up uh, you know, that's kind of limited that here in the last couple of weeks. You know, um, there's been times where you know, it's been you know, lack of separation um, you know, in, in routes or you know, you know, just some of the finer details of, of what we're trying to do when it comes to spacing and, and uh, you know, getting the ball out. Uh, there's been you know, protection issues. There's been times that we've you know, not been on time where we need to be, uh, you know, or maybe our eyes haven't been exactly where they need to be when it comes to you know, just the efficiency of, of the passing game. and. Um, you know, we all get to you know, take a, a part of that, and uh, you know, obviously as coaches, it's it's our job to, to put guys in a position to be able to go and and to be able to get in rhythm and to be able to go out there and be able to execute. And um, you know, with the quarterbacks, you know, it's um, you know, I, I I think both those guys have shown shown moments and flashes of, of potential. And um, you know, like I said you know, last week, you know, Luke was was limited. And really, it's a little unknown certainty of just availability for the game, and so that was a part of, uh, you know, of his week. Um, but you know, I think uh, you know, Brock Brock did some good things in the game, and you know, vertically pushing the ball down the field. There's like, there's obviously some plays that he'd like to have back in the game, and some uh, some missed opportunities, and and you know, obviously Luke Hugh, he had his. Uh, you know, there's some challenging moments for him, and, and a couple of a couple of really good moments, and so uh, for those guys, it's you know, there, there's. A lot of different factors when it comes to our offense that you know where they can be better, where they can you know uh, you know obviously continue to grow, and then you know the people surrounding them you know, have to continue to help support that and, and you know you know, help that position. You know we get an opportunity and to be able to have balance in the run game, but getting that established will obviously open up uh, you know more opportunities there in the passing game. And uh, but yeah, it's for sure something that uh, you know, we need to be more efficient in in, in, in our passing game. Go back to your right, Briar. You mentioned that you've been evaluating things and trying to figure out, not just focus on now, but also look ahead to the future. Um, but what would you say to you know, the fans who may maybe have already bought tickets for these last few games at home, um, but it's still an expense and it's still an effort to, to come up here and, and, to, and to, to buy tickets in, in packages for next year because um, they don't know what your players are. Like, you know, how, how, how do you expect them to believe that you're going to make changes or, or do whatever you're going to do when they can't see it yet? Yeah, because everything we're doing right now is to, to give our players this year for the games that they're coming to here for at the, at the uh, our next two home games is to be do everything we can to go put ourselves in a position to win, to be successful, to, to pour into these players, to give them an opportunity to, to go put on display, you know, the best of who they are and what they're about. And you know, I do believe in that group. And, you know, it's been a... Uh, it's been a really tough season, and uh, you know, I, I mean, like I said, I, 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 for our fan base, I mean, I understand the frustration. I mean, there's there's no fan that's more frustrated than I am. Right? There's nobody that that's pouring more into what uh, these these players in this program than, than what you know our staff is. And I'll, I'll watch the work, and you know, has it been good enough? No, it hasn't. We haven't we haven't had the uh, the results that, uh, that that any of us desire, or that you know what is needs to be expected here. Um, but you know, we are going to pour all that we have into making sure for these games to, to finish the season, it's the best that we got. And you know, we put ourselves in a position to go achieve success in these next three games. And it all starts going on the road this week. And, um, you know, on the flip side of, of it, I'm, I, I am aware of, you know, where we are, the things that have happened, you know, some of the, the, the things that, you know, that I'm evaluating throughout the course of the season, or evaluating over the, the course of the last few years of, you know, what, you know, one, why did this happen? Why why have we come up short? And then what are the issues and what can be done, changed, addressed, you know, what, you know, all of it that's gonna allow us to to take a monumental step, you know, here this next year and for the future of the program. And um, you know, I, I do believe in the guys that are in that locker room, right? I do believe in the potential of what we have. We've got to do a better job of, of you know, 
making sure that you know the, the application of the things that we work, the things that we train, the things that we do, um, you know, the, the evaluation of you know how the, the positions we're putting guys in, and you know sometimes the guys that you know uh, that that we have, you know, where can we improve that? And you know all those factors are going to be, uh, I guess you know continue to be evaluated, and then you know. I can tell you that there's going to be, uh, you know, there's going to be a change in what we've seen from this year to this next year coming up. But you know, and right now my entire focus is going to be on what's ahead for these next three games. Go be the best we can be. Sure. A few, uh, a few injury questions. I guess how, how's Justin Cryer? I know that looked pretty serious on Saturday. And then uh, Maurice, I don't know where his status is coming into the week. If you think you might have him available again this week. Yeah, um, Justin, the preliminary was uh, probably a little bit better than, than what I feared, you know, just being out there on the field with him. But, you know, it's going to be, um, you know, they're, you know, he'll be out this week and, you know, we'll see what the extent of that is uh, for the long term. Um, but, you know, definitely a scary situation, you know, going out there and, uh, you know, being with them. But, uh, you know, there was uh, preliminary, you know, re- you know, just diagnosis and, and the things that we've seen is a, it's a little bit better than what uh, you know, what it could have been. And uh, um, you know, obviously, you know, it's uh, still something that you know we we'll, we'll work through with him and uh, you know as it as it as it moves forward. Uh, and then you know with the with the guys that missed the game, you know this last week, we'll continue to evaluate the, you know them as as we jump into this week and hopefully uh, you have an opportunity to get those guys in. You know, uh, you know Maurice and Rob, you know were unavailable uh, you know, for the game and then. Uh, See what see what that looks like here this week. Mike, when you talk, you talk about the quarterbacks, how how hard is it to even evaluate how well they're playing in the game if things aren't going well around them? Yeah, I mean it's really you know to me it's not. I mean I'm watching them. I know what they're being asked to do. I know I know um, you know you see the the intent. You see the things that they can control and you know how they are executing that. Like, they don't control receiver separation. They don't control, uh, you know, protection all the time. You know, there there are some there are some things that you know in the in the, in the sacks that we gave you know gave up the other day. Um, you know, mm-hmm. there were there were two that were on one run pass reads that you know, um, you know one could have you know, made a better decision. Another one, you know, we didn't get any separation and didn't win a one on one. You know, and the quarterback held the ball and got sacked on. And so. Um, you know, there were also you know a couple times where you know you had coverage opportunities and things that where we can move better or you know just be on time and on rhythm, uh, and then there's times we just got beat uh, you know up front. And so you know you look for the quarterbacks of saying, all right, are you controlling the things that you can control? And you know there's been a lot of plays you know really from both those guys where they have they have made something happen when maybe there wasn't much there, and uh, you know they've been able to to create either an explosive play or they've been able to. Uh, generate a positive and then you know there's still like I said there's times that you know where they get to grow and they get to be better and they get to see the, the importance of maybe the efficiency of a drop or where they're starting their eyes or you know going through a progression um, you know and just you know all those things for a young quarterback those can be those, those can be monumental steps for them as they build in that confidence but uh, you know it's really just you, you got to control the things that you can control and I, 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 I get a you know pretty good evaluation of them you don't obviously we haven't Done well offensively, so it's uh, you know it's sometimes you got to look past the immediate result to what are they being asked to do to evaluate that position. And uh, you know I definitely have been proud of the work those guys have put in, and you know I think they're both very talented young men. Go ahead, Pat. Long and Is that right? You mentioned your optimism overall and how you know what the team's capable of, and you see some good things in practice. Is it? Week to week, how surprised are you at where you guys are? Or if you would know in July that you're going to have this offensive line that was going to constantly have change and receivers that couldn't get separation, like, would that have made sense if you're going to build that stuff to be where you're at, or you had faith in the talent and the coaches you have to overcome those challenges? All right. Um, you know, no, one, I, I am shocked in, in where we are. And there is not, it was not, ex, it was not expected. And um, you, know, you look at, you know, some of the results that, that we faced. You look at some of the circumstances that, that have shown up. Um, that, you know, you, you go into a season and you have a, uh, you know, a picture in your mind of what things are going to look like. You know, and it's not, like, I'm not, I'm not blind to it. I'm, like I said, I'm optimistic, but also know 
challenges. And I knew there was going to be some, uh, you know, anybody asked me for a season, you know, my concerns is, you know, what was it going to look like in the moment and when, when things went well or when things didn't go well. And, you know, we have, you know, had a, a very talented group that, uh, you know, left this past year. You know, a lot of those guys are, you know, showing that they were really good players in the moment and guys that have been very productive for us you know, in the past that are now in new roles and new opportunities and uh, new supporting cast of, of guys that are that are there next to them. And, you know, I don't think we've handled, you know, the, the negative or the, or the defeat well uh, in, in being able to bounce back from that. And I thought there's been, there's been a lot of times where we've had that guys that have been pressing. We've had, you know, a good number of injuries. We have three, you know, our, two of our top three running backs coming into the season or we're, we're done for the year after a couple of games. I mean, um, you know, we had you know, a couple of playmakers that uh, that we expected that would have, you know, good seasons, you know, here, you know, the last January that, you know, that are not available. And, uh, you know, I mean, obviously the, the, the challenges that we've had on the offensive line and some of the injuries that we've had, it's hard to, to maintain, uh, you know, continuity there. And, you know, it's, you know, some parts that we just haven't been good enough. And, um, you know, so it is, it, it really has been, Shocking some of the things that have uh, you know, kind of evolved throughout this season as, as we've you know, experienced the defeat, as we've uh, you know, you know, lacked the progression of what, uh, you know, what, what anybody wants to see. But uh, you know, it is uh, it's, it's one of the things that you know, I don't, don't always have the answer on why that, that some of these situations or circumstances occurred. But you, know, you continue to go to work, you continue to try to put guys in the best position. And, um, you know, it does, it does look different than what I anticipated. Um, you know, just you know, know all the challenges that are going to show up at the back end of it. When you do a couple things different, when you look at a couple different uh, uh, schemes or things that you can plug in, I mean, yeah, of course. But, you know, you, that's part of, you know, going through the process of, uh, of a season. And, you know, you know so it's, not, it's, not, uh, it's not gone very, very well for us. And, you know, just the, the different elements that have showed up. Probably have for a couple more come back to Colonel Burrow. Looking at uh, two guys, LT and Jakai, who, who've been here, only a handful of guys who've been here your whole time. I mean, they obviously, I'm sure this isn't how they imagined their last season going. If they're still out there making plays, they seem to, I mean, be two of the more impactful players and really fighting each and every week. I guess, what, what's that say about them? And how much can they be an example you point to for the younger guys of, of, of just what you're looking for? Well, I mean, you know, they just, you know, those guys care. And, you know, and I'll tell you, for, for as, as bad as our record is and as bad as you know, the, the results have, have been, um, you know, I, I do, I, I feel for our team and the care that they have for each other. And I see it, you know, in their, in their work. And I see the, the, the investment of the coaches pouring into our players and trying to connect with them where they are and just help, help them go and, and work to be better. And um, like I said, it's not, you know, for players, for coaches, none of it, it hasn't translated the way that we want it to to that level. But it's the it's a willingness to continue to invest. And for those guys, uh, and I love them. I mean, they, they came in in that first class, and uh, you know, they've uh, they've been a huge part in helping you know the the positive winning 19 games in a row, winning an ACC championship, and, and all of that. And you know, uh, even through the the negative of what is now you know their senior year of, of a result you know they are pouring their hearts into this program they're pouring their hearts into uh, each other and uh, it is a it's a great example for those for those young players and uh, you know it's it's something that you know, being a part of a team is is it is special and you know um, sometimes when you face the, the, the disappointing results uh, you get to show you know just amount of care that you have by what you're willing to, to continue to invest on a, on a daily basis and those guys have been remarkably consistent and one of the big guys that have uh, you know, joined the program even here a year ago I think um, you, know, you look like guys like Malik you know, uh, Sione I mean those guys uh, um, they are they're putting it on the line they've only been here for a year and you know in each game in each practice um, you know it's it's, it's definitely um, something that I'm proud of those guys and you know, even though they're, they're only going to have a year with us um, you know, they're still they're still making that investment on a daily basis, and they're pouring into the younger players that uh, you know you have their career still in front of them. But uh, you know, every day counts, and every day, uh, every moment matters. And, and those relationships are, are, are important because they're going to last them the rest of their lives. Right. You like the Jordan third row on your left? 
So as you mentioned earlier, the nature of change in the offseason, does a new recruiting calendar with the early signing period getting moved up affect when you make those changes, or how does the media the offseason like change right now? Well, I mean, you know, obviously it's uh, we're going to have signing day the, the week after uh, after the season ends. Uh, you know, when you know, for us it's it, you know every game, every day. You know, we're, we're recruiting. We're we're. Uh, uh, we're having those conversations with guys that are committed to us. We're having conversations with with guys that uh, that we're going after. I mean, we're gonna we're, we are we're putting everything that we have right into the growth for this program. Which obviously, it's it's all going into the players that we have uh, to finish this season, and then you know it's a focus on, on where we're going and and who we're doing with it with moving forward. And uh, you know, this is uh, you know I think we've got a really good group of guys that. Uh, uh, that are, are going to be a part of, of that you know, here in this next class, and you know, obviously as we continue to uh, uh, you know identify those those newcomers and uh, those guys are going to be joining the program, um, you know, it's it, it's all about having having you know the real conversations of you know, some of the things that, that they can expect and you know what we're going to expect out of them, and so um, you know it's you know, it's all part of the process of, of how we're how we're working working through the, uh, the end of the season. And, preparing for, for what's ahead uh, once it's over. All right, thank you, Cody. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.